how much do you bench? It's a question that's been asked countless of times in the gym culture. But here's the thing, when someone asks that question, they're usually talking about the barbell bench press. And while that exercise is certainly effective, it's not the be all end all of chest training. Sure, you may not be able to lift quite as much weight with the dumbbells, but this doesn't mean you should overlook this exercise. In fact, there are several reasons you should consider incorporating the dumbbell bench press into your chest routine. Let's dive into them. First and foremost, the dumbbell bench press allows you to train your chest through greater range of motion. You've probably heard this before, but what does it actually mean? Well, let me break it down. When you perform a traditional barbell bench press, your range of motion is limited by the bar itself. You can only lower the weight so far before the bar hits your chest. But with the dumbbells, you have the freedom to lower them even further, allowing for a deeper stretch in your chest muscles. So why is this important? It's important because it all comes down to something called mechanical tension. This is the force that's resisting against your muscles and it's one of the primary drivers of hypertrophy, aka muscle growth. When you're able to challenge your muscles at their stretched position, you create both passive and active tension, which means the overall mechanical tension is at its highest. But don't just take my word for it. A study from 2022 compared the overhead tricep extensions to the neutral arm tricep pushdown and found that even when the overhead tricep extensions used less total load during the study, it still saw greater hypertrophy compared to the neutral arm. The reason? When the muscle is stretched, it produces passive tension, which is a key factor in building muscle mass. But that's not the only benefit of the dumbbell bench press. It can also help you even out imbalances between your left and right sides because each arm has to lift the weight independently. You can't rely on one side to do more work than the other. This can be especially helpful if you've noticed that one side of your chest is lagging behind the other. And here's another benefit. The dumbbell bench press is easier on your joints. When you perform a barbell bench press, your arms are stuck in a fixed position. This can put extra strain on your shoulders and wrists, especially if you're using heavier weights. With dumbbells, however, you have more freedom of movement, which can reduce the risk of injury. Now, all of these benefits sound great, but here's the thing. None of them matter if you're not performing the exercise correctly. And unfortunately, I see a lot of people making mistakes when it comes to the dumbbell bench press. So let's go through a step-by-step -step guide on how to execute the proper form so you can maximize your chest gains and avoid getting injured. First things first, don't waste your energy before you even start the lift. This may sound obvious, but I see a lot of people trying to bicep curl or front raise the dumbbells before they even begin the bench press. Not only is this inefficient, but it also takes away from the energy you could be using for the actual lift. And if you're still doing this, don't worry, I'm here to show you the proper way to set yourself up for success. Start by using momentum to lift the weight up to the edge of your quads, avoiding the knees. If the weight is too heavy, have a spotter lift one dumbbell at a time to your knees. Number two, kick the weight up into a front rock position using your knees and lean back slowly with the momentum. You should avoid holding the weights for too long as this can burn out your shoulders. Once on the bench, adjust your position and explosively push the weight up to the starting position. If you're using heavier weights, just ask a spotter for help. To finish, bring your legs up and lower the weights onto the edge of your quads. Again, not your knees. The momentum from the weight should help you sit back up. This is a similar variation where you lift both dumbbells simultaneously. Just try both out and see which one you like more. And remember, it's important to practice with lighter weights first so you don't injure yourself. I am not liable for anyone's injuries, so do it at your own discretion. Moving on to step two, let's talk about shoulder position. Many people make the mistake of rounding their shoulders forward, which removes the tension from the chest and places a load on their frontal deltoids. This can increase the risk of injury. Instead, retract your back and think about pulling the band apart. Warming up with band pulls or other mobility work can help increase your performance. Remember to keep your back tight the whole time and don't let it untuck after the first rep. All right, next, let's talk about arm angle. A lot of people like to flutter their elbows out because it makes the weight feel a little bit easier or it's just the most natural to them. However, again, this increases the stress on the frontal deltoids and increases the risk for injury and it also doesn't place the optimal amount of tension onto your chest. What you want to do instead is to align your arms with the muscle fibers. Now the chest fibers align at different degrees, but the majority of the muscle fibers on your chest align at 45 to 70 degrees. So angling your arms around 45 to 70 degrees can help you align with the majority of the chest fibers. This can allow you to stretch and contract the muscle fibers to its full length. Now let's talk about forearm misalignment. This is a common compensation among those who struggle with their chest development. By bending the forearms inward on the dumbbell bench press, you're shortening the lever, which makes the movement easier by taking some of the load off of the chest. It also gets the triceps more involved to take some of the load off as well. 
The further you bend your elbows inward, the less resistance your chest will have. And although it's not as common, going too wide can also start to place the weight on the biceps and shoulders. So remember, keeping your wrist and elbow stacked will help you keep the weight on the chest. And not to mention, it's also better for your joints. Alright, and last but not least, let's talk about smashing the dumbbells together. The main function of the chest is horizontal adduction, which is simply the act of bringing the arms together. And this is what makes a dumbbell bench press such an ineffective chest builder, because it pulls the arms together under load. But when we're using dumbbells, we are essentially just using gravity. So once your arms are straight over your shoulders, there's no more tension placed on the chest. Going further than this won't stimulate the chest any further, and it's just wasting energy that could be used for your next reps. So complete the rep once the weight is directly above your chest and repeat. Now that we've covered all of the steps, let's put it together. Alright, I hope you learned a thing or two, and more importantly, I hope you apply these steps into your next chest workout because when done correctly and with full range of motion, the dumbbell bench press is such a great exercise. Don't get me wrong, the barbell bench press is still a great exercise, but too many people put too much emphasis on the exercise when the benefits can be replaced with something more versatile. And as always, go check the description down below for more information on this video. And with that said, thank you for watching and go make some gains.